Rhode Island has very large river systems, which we utilize to travel. And in the summertime, you travel to the bay and the open ocean, and you had your villages along those resources, the salt ponds and the open ocean, because that's where the resources are. You're, you know, fishing and, and getting uh, shellfish, you know, lobsters and crabs and things like that, which is why today we call it a clam bake. But that's a traditional thing for indigenous people. You didn't have a clam bake in February. You had a clam bake all during the summer because those were the summer foods that you would feast upon. Um, you would um, grow your crops during the summers at your summer village and you would have your corn and your bean and your squash and onions and potatoes and other crops that you grew because um, we were agrarian uh, and are agrarian people. But what happened is when European contact came, they didn't understand that we had these summer villages and then we moved inland during the winter and because why because that's where the resources are again you're protected from the harsh winds that are along the coast your villages in the winter are near the the ability to go off and hunt for small game even the people that are still near the village i mean yes some parties would go off a lot farther but you were near that you were near the fresh water you were near the resources that you needed um but you grew your gardens in the summertime by the bay right or by the bay or by the open ocean and we would put them in the ground in what we called a cache which would store the corn why because you would take some with you to the winter camp but when you come back to the summer camp if you don't have any corn to plant you've got no corn if you don't have any corn there to grind into cornmeal for um johnny cakes or cornmeal mush or and any number of foods that you would make with it then until your crop comes up in august you have no corn and when europeans came in there's some famous quotes um when folks came into plymouth um into the wampanoag territories and they said you know god's divine providence because they basically found the corn caches stole all the corn and felt that god had led them to the corn um, with no understanding or respect for the people that were there and how that would affect them in the coming season for lack of their corn caches. You know, so if, if my, let's pretend for a minute, this river right down here is um, Roaring Brook. And Roaring Brook is a tributary to Wood River, which is a tri tributary to the Pawcatuck River, which is a tributary that takes you right out to Napa Tree Point, which is in Westerly, right? Right to the, basically the open ocean. Well, our winter village would have been in this area of Exeter or maybe Coventry or, you know, up, up the Wood River system, you know. Um, our summer village from this location would have been in the westerly area. Along the way, moving from your winter village to your summer village, you know, in what we would think of today as March, you know, early spring, you know, you go to your sugaring camps because you're sugaring for maple sugar. And then, you know, the buckies and um, the salmon are swimming upstream and you're harvesting the fish in your fishing camps and you're leading your ways. Eventually you head, I mean, I'm sure it didn't take that long when you think about going down river, it's not like the dams that are in the way today where you take out your, your canoe or your kayak and you have to cross or cross the road and get back in. And, you know, because they're dammed, some spots are really low when they shouldn't be. Um, it, it was very efficient. You know, our communities, you know, in the summertime, we lived in a wee too. Um, some people might know the more English term for it, which is a wigwam, which is a dome shaped home made with bent saplings um, that are woven together and, and then covered with mats, bulrush, cattail, corn husk mats, as for an example, and sometimes bark. Um, but you tended to use the bark coverings during the winter and during the summer, the mats because um, it was cool just think of you know camping in the summer how hot a tent can be you know you want to have that aerated and mats allow air to come into the home 
In the winter time, you know, we didn't survive here for thousands upon thousands of years. I think they're estimating somewhere around 30,000 years now. Um, that's the scientists. They slowly catch up to what we already know is that we've always been here. Um, but the we didn't survive here for 30,000 years and not be a thriving community.